Good Monday morning, everybody. Chris Allen with your weather podcast for this August 18th. Well, we got some more heavy rain yesterday over parts of the area and um, Saturday evening as well. Some locations picked up well over an inch or two of rain. And we're not done yet. Unsettled weather will continue for much of the work week. Even though it's not going to rain like it did this weekend all week long, there will be a chance that you could get some rain today. And for the next couple of days, we're going to see several upper-level disturbances pass through the region. And southern Kentucky looks to benefit from some of this rain as it passes through. But it is going to be warm and it's going to be muggy. Yeah. Temperatures will slowly climb back into the lower 90s. As we get into the latter half of the work week and the upcoming weekend, throw in all that muggy air, very tropical air mass that's settling in over the area. And it's going to feel like a steam bath at times. Yeah. Oh, well, it's the middle of August, almost the end of August. Yeah, pretty typical stuff before things begin to cool down in September, which is not far away. Well, looking at the numbers from our Sunday in southern Kentucky, we had a high of 78. Officially at the Bowling Green Airport, thanks to the cloud cover and the rain showers that kept us cooler. It was it was humid, though. It was. It was muggy. 89 is the average high temperature, so we were 11 degrees below average. 70 was our low, 66 the average, so just a 4-degree difference there. One year ago, we had a high of 81 and a low of 65 back in 2013. And at the airport yesterday, Bowling Green Airport registered 81 hundredths of an inch of rain That brings us to a whopping 5.41 for the month of August. That's a surplus of almost 3 and 7 tenths inches above average. Wow. We had that uh, big deficit. Now it looks like uh, we're making it up big time. Now our year-to-date deficit has now fallen to 1.71 inches below average. That's not bad at all. If we can keep it right about there, we should be okay. But, you know, too late for the corn and too late for some of the crops out there. Although, yesterday as I was uh, making my way over to Sulphur Well, Kentucky, over in Metcalf County for the annual duck race, the 13th annual Liz Jeffries duck race, um, ran into some rain, but... Going through parts of Barron and Metcalf counties, the corn looked pretty good. Here in Warren County, it's it's done. It's gone. Grain. But um, that's the best you can do with it. Feed. But uh, in other areas where you've had a little bit more rain and not as much of a deficit on rainfall, it, you know, didn't look that bad. But I'm not a farmer, so I don't know. (laughs) Anyway... We're going to continue to see the warm, muggy air over the area again today. We're starting out with some clouds. And uh, the radar is fairly quiet right now. We do have some uh, energy over in the central and eastern parts of Kentucky moving away from us. But there is still a chance of isolated showers and a few thunderstorms in the forecast today at about 30%. And we'll see a high of 83. Now, Just as over the weekend we could see any of those showers maybe produce some heavy downpours of rain. Not necessarily expecting severe weather. We did have some flood advisories and one flash flood warning yesterday in Muhlenberg County where they did have some flooding. They had about six inches of rain in a short amount of time. They had a lot of street flooding there in Central City, Powderly, and over in Greenville. And, you know, for about eight minutes, they did actually have a tornado warning, although nothing really materialized from that. It was just mainly radar indicated, uh, some circulation showing up on the uh, velocity scopes on the radar, but uh, nothing really materialized. And apparently there was a a funnel cloud or a brief spin-up up up in Henderson, Kentucky, right on the Ohio River, Uh, some minor damage from that. 
but we're not really expecting severe weather, although somebody asked me yesterday, I thought there, were, there was no severe weather to be talked about. Uh, it hadn't been talked about, and no, you would be correct. But as we say, with any uh, you know stronger thunderstorms any place, any time, if the conditions are right, you don't have to have necessarily a heads up that the storms are going to go severe. Sometimes we get uh, enough mixing in the atmosphere, especially in the mid-levels of the atmosphere, and that mixing, if it those gusty winds at higher elevations make it down to the ground, you can have a gusty thunderstorm, and for brief moments it can go maybe uh, criteria severe, but we're not looking at a widespread severe weather situation here. As we get into tonight, cloudy, muggy, isolated shower, 70, the overnight low. 85 for Tuesday. We brought down the numbers uh, because of the cloud cover and the chance of showers at 40%, a few thunderstorms, heavy rainfall, any of those that pop up. Wednesday, continued 40% chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms, 88. And at any time, especially tomorrow or Wednesday, those rain chances could go up depending on the the disturbances that move in. Thursday, just a 20% chance of a shower or thunderstorm, otherwise warm and muggy. Let's say hot and muggy. 92, because we are expecting a little bit more sunshine. As we get into Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 90 on Friday, 91 on Saturday, each day we'll have that 20% chance of an isolated shower possible. And then by Sunday, just a a mix of sun and clouds and a high at 93. The heat index levels, though, in the mid to upper 90s. As we head into the weekend, we hope maybe this could be the last of the really hot weather for the rest of the uh, year. We'll see what happens, okay? In the meantime, um, just behind-the-scenes stuff, for those of you that are podcasters or my podcast audience, we're beginning something new this week, several new things, behind the scenes. Ooh, behind the scenes. That's right. We've got all new weather equipment, brand new, state-of-the-art, top-of-the-line. I'm talking the best weather equipment that's out there and uh, we're excited about this because it's in HD and um, it has some brand new software it can do some new things that maybe you haven't seen on any other channels around and that would include the weather channel and all the other channels that you can pick up around here we're working on some brand new things some groundbreaking technology and you know, just because we're Bowling Green, Kentucky, doesn't mean we're, you know, going to take a back seat. We, You just don't put baby in the corner, you know, as they said on Dirty Dancing, the movie. But anyway, uh, training starts this week on the new uh, equipment that we hope to debut sometime in September. And we're also bringing back an old friend. Many of you may remember Matt Stevens. He, was, uh, he worked here weekends and filled in for a while. He is now going to become the fourth member of the First Alert Storm team starting today. And Matt's going to start training with us and filling in as uh, Shane and I and Christy have time off and going to conferences. And Shane's got his uh, holiday vacations trip coming up in October. I've got National Weather Association uh, conference in Salt Lake City coming up in October. So um, we needed that fourth member of the team, and now we have four people working as your first alert storm team. So lots of things taking place. Just when you think it's getting quiet, things kind of change. That's the nature of this business. Uh, So uh, excited to tell you about those things, and hopefully soon you'll see uh, some of those changes taking place. They're all good. So uh, thank you for your loyalty. Thank you for trusting in us. And we're doing our part to uh, keep things onward and upward and moving forward. God bless you as always. And thank you for listening to the podcast as always. Know the weather before it knows you. Have a great day. I'll see you live at 530 on AM Kentucky and streaming live to the WBKO app and to WBKO.com.